Welcome to the liner notes section of the Street Fighter II The Animated Movie Blu-ray. In this feature, we wanted to talk about all of the many different English versions of the movie that have been released over the years, and how we've preserved these edits for this new Blu-ray edition. There have been so many rumors about what exists and what doesn't exist for the English version of this film that we actually felt it necessary to include this little explanation. First off, this movie was released in Japan in August of 1994 as Street Fighter II Movie, and this is the original definitive cut of the film that all other versions are based on. It features a synthesizer score by Tetsuya Komodo, as well as a lot of J-pop vocal songs by artists like Big Life and Ryoko Shinohara. It also has some scenes of intense action and just a little bit of topless nudity. It was later decided that the movie would be retooled for English-speaking markets. It would not only be dubbed in English, but the footage would be re-edited for foreign sensibilities along with the soundtrack being completely replaced. The English script was penned by Mary Claypool, and the English voices recorded by Magnitude 8 Post, in conjunction with animes in California. The voice work was directed by the late Kevin Seymour, and recorded under the supervision of Les Claypool. The actors recorded lots of different takes, many experimenting with choice words. Yahoo! They are some nasty pieces of work. I am honored. Yahoo! They are some badass mothers. I am honored. Yahoo! They are some badass motherfuckers. I am honored. You get the picture. The dialogue and the rest of the materials were shipped off to New York, where Corey Larios and John DeAndrea composed an all-new score for the movie. This score was a mix of rock and earthy tribal sounds, and effectively replaced the J-pop with a lot of popular music from artists like Alice in Chains and KMFDM. It was at this point that they mixed the movie, and where, perhaps, a confusing number of different English versions were created. First, let's talk about the PG-13 US version. This was actually rated by the MPAA and uses the aforementioned Americanized score. It is also edited significantly, more so than any other version. There are many cuts to speed up the pace of the film, most of the blood is cut out, extreme violence is either cut around or zoomed in, and obviously all of the nudity from the Chun-Li shower scene is excised from the film. Along with these changes, this version also uses the least profanity of all of the differing alternate versions. Bison! I'm gonna rip your lousy heart out, you filthy creep! This PG-13 version was released on VHS in 1995 as Street Fighter II, the animated movie. And if we ignore the end credits, it runs 1 hour and 34 minutes which is about two minutes shorter than the original Japanese version without its credit roll. Then, there's the US unrated version. This too uses the American score, and it's not quite as edited as the PG-13 version. All of the violence is back in full force, but the famous shower scene remains shortened in one major way. While you now get to see Chun-Li's backside, the sequence remains breastless. Sorry, kids. As for the rest of the edits, like the PG-13 version, many lingering shots are cut out or trimmed to speed up the pace of the movie. For instance, when Ryu runs into the little girl carrying milk in the bazaar and knocks her over, there's a long lingering shot of him looking down at the stunned girl that is cut out of every English language version. There are many scenes in the movie like this which are trimmed down from people walking away to long shots of folks driving cars. The dialogue in this version is a bit more harsh as well, though it stops short of any truly foul language, such as the dreaded F-bomb. Bison! I'm gonna rip your lousy heart out, you filthy bastard! This version was released on VHS and Laserdisc at the same time as the PG-13 version, and it runs about 1 hour, 35 minutes, and 47 seconds, without taking the credits into account. Which means that it's missing just under a minute of footage from the original Japanese version. The Japanese version, incidentally, runs 1 hour, 36 minutes, and 28 seconds without credits. And then there's the UK unrated version. In the early days of the internet, it was long rumored to be completely uncut, even though that's actually not true at all. 
In terms of video, the cut is almost 100% identical to the US unrated version, except for one major difference. Remember this scene of Chun-Li in the shower? The UK version just edits in the single topless shot of Chun-Li and completely cuts the butt. Otherwise, the video is totally identical and runs the exact same length as the US unrated version, so all the lingering shots mentioned earlier are still missing. Our guess is that this was done to make mixing easier for the studio. The audio for this version is almost identical to the US unrated cut as well. It uses nearly all the same harsher takes of the US version, but the major difference is that a few lines of dialogue push things even further. Bison! I'll rip your fucking heart out, you filthy bastard! A little over the top? Maybe so, but at the time, it was common practice to dub anime specifically in this fashion for the UK market. Getting that precious British Board of Film classification rating of 15 up meant that this anime was for mature teenagers and grown-ups only. All of the English versions also contained their own unique title sequence and credit rolls, which were completely different from the Japanese versions and even featured some typographical mistakes. Oops. Now, you may be asking, all these English versions have had a different score than the Japanese version. Has the movie ever been released with English dialogue while retaining the original Japanese music soundtrack? Well, reportedly it was, for a limited time, and only on streaming services back around 2008. Unfortunately, in all of our searching, we were unable to find any traces of this version of the movie, so if it's out there, it's lost to time. Now, for the Blu-ray version, what did we do? We had an all-new transfer in 1080p HD that was completely uncut, and as we've discussed, it didn't match at all any of the English tracks that we already had available to us. We were presented with a big problem, so here's how we tackled it. First, since they were so close to being uncut, we transferred the original audio masters for the US and UK unrated versions, and then synced those up to our new pristine uncut footage, adding gaps where the audio was missing. Then, we painstakingly filled in all of these little gaps so that the US and UK unrated audio synced up seamlessly with the original uncut Japanese footage. So for the first time, you get all of the lingering scenes, all of the violence, and all of the nudity along with the English language track. Secondly, since the PG-13 edit was significantly different and shorter than the unrated versions, we then took the new HD footage and completely recreated the PG-13 version, preserving this cut and including it as an extra, just for you. Finally, we contacted Les Claypool, who had supervised the recording of the movie way back in the beginning of this story. And, using the original raw dialogue master tapes that we had managed to uncover, Les did a completely new mix just for this edition that includes the Japanese soundtrack. Here's a comparison. <laughs> Even though you two amuse me, I must conclude this game. I have engagements to keep and I can't be late. And now you know just a little bit more about the many different cuts of Street Fighter II, the animated movie. We think it's fascinating how a single animated film can lead to so many different versions, each of them aimed at a slightly different audience across the globe. We're proud to present each of these versions for you. Please enjoy. <laughs>